right. Sticky tube black. Out in the nature of things. And today we're going to do... I think the other one cut off by itself. The one we did before. Which was the thrashing of the Philistines. So we're going to redo that. So, um... This is where we are, and we're going to do uh, this book. So you're going to carry on. I think it cut off before I we actually do it properly. So, sorry if I apologize, it's going to be <coughs> windy. So I'll let it try and stop being windy so much that I can carry on, but I have no muffler. So when it's windy, I'm going to try and be quiet. I hope you can see that. Sorry about the shadow. Hope it's clear. It's the same when we're talking about the three claims, and then you can decide um, which claim you're going to go for. So it's either civil claim, which means that you're a civilian, you're under martial law. And the the Rome, the bullshit of Rome applies on you. So the civilian law or civil law is what's being used to impose this bullshit on you by getting you involved in civilian courts. As a wind again. I wish I knew where the mic was, so I can muffle it. Um, So criminal, commercial or civil. So we've gone through this before, so I won't go through that again. What happened was that the, I think something happened before and it cut off before I finished the rest of it. So we'll, we'll do the rest of it now. So the point is before you appear in any of these fake proceedings, please by all means identify or ask the, the claiming party to identify under what law they're bringing the claim. In what jurisdiction are they bringing the claim? If they are unable to identify those two points, you don't do anything about it. You don't get involved in the civilian proceedings, inform them that you are a private man or a private woman who does not participate in bogus, bullshit, kangaroo court proceedings and they should stop their BS because you know who you are and you're not putting up with it. What else do you have? Now, the, bringing, the party bringing a, a, a C, a claim, has to identify whether it's, it's a, uh, the claim, a complaint or a charge. is under, under legal obligation to disclose such required jurisdictional and or other information for the purpose of verifying any alleged liability and for allowing remedy to be offered to the appropriate party without need for court action. That's where your entire game is right here. Right here, because what what they're trying to do is they're trying to get, get involved in a uh, in controversy. That's all. And as soon as you do get in, involved in controversy, you're done for. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you're gonna carry on and say, fine, uh, we're gonna participate in a kangaroo court. However, what I'm gonna need is for you to identify number one who you are. So who's the true claimant, right? The true claimant. This is critical because most people don't understand the, the value of this one. Who is the true claimant? Who's bringing the claim? It's all bogus. Who's bringing the claim? There's no one bringing the claim. Or it's not a living man or a woman. It's a fictitious corporation that has no license to do business. So that's the deception right there. So who's the true claimant? And can they come to court and give evidence and be cross-examined? Now these are the, the rules of natural justice that you have as a man on this plane to have absolute right to question anyone who's bringing a claim against you face to face. So no kangaroo bullshit court. Are you kidding me? Are you out of your effing mind? You stupid monkey man. Number two, 
status, but it's legal fiction. So there's no standing here, status. Once identified, the claimant's capacity to bring the claim has to be established. Right? What status? Now, usually, uh, I'm talking about people who are, how would you call them? You'd call them uh, a fakers. So the, the, the pretend creditor, him, the pretend creditor uh, is going to pretend or purport to have the legal right to bring the claim. Usually you're going to get what's called third party interlopers, people trying to cash in on your account, right? Now what you need from these people, for instance, a uh, solicitor who is going to try and do a, um, say that they represent someone, represent, so when they say that they represent their client, what you're going to need from them is just that, proof of that. Okay, Mr. Lawyer, wise ass, solicitor, clever man, right? So you're going to prove what you're claiming. Sorry, there's a wind again. I'm going to check for a minute. I think that's better. Hello, it's getting cloudy. What's going on? I came out to enjoy some sun. But I think this solar radiation management people are giving us a little bit of time today. So it's not full on. It's not very warm, but we're going to take it. We'll take as much as we can. So number two is status. So you, uh, if you ever receive a, a, anything from a solicitor claiming that they're acting on behalf of a creditor, right? The only thing you wish to see from them, not see, I hate that word, see. The only thing you wish to have sight of out of these fools is something called the power of attorney stroke letter of authority. Okay. So you want proof in form of a certified copy of the letter of authority or uh, the power of attorney that authorizes you or confers authority on you to make representations on behalf of the the bank or whoever it is that's making the claims. So that's number two. And then number three, once the two of the first points have been covered, then we move on to number three, which is the adju adjudication, right? So it's a tragic drama. It's three act play. So act number one is identifying who the players are. Act number two is um, the players identify their status in the proceedings and three, is when the game begins, the adjudication begins. And after that, then you have the finale, the judgment. All right, so that's the kangaroo court procedure. It's bogus, it's bullshit. So the thing is, don't get involved, man. You're being tricked, you're being deceived that there's a system that's working for, is supposed to be there for working for you. It's ripping you off. It's a bunch of crooks, right? It's a bunch of thugs. Yeah, so civil matters are not criminal and may and may thus not be tried in criminal court using criminal statutes. That's what they do all the time in the magician's court, the dicks. Oh, sorry, wind again. Oh, my feet is flying away. Man. I'm not going to speak because it's so windy. I hope you can see it and you can just take the information.
pain in it. Pain in it. 